Last time I had financial freedom was probably 2014 when I moved out here. That was the end of it. Seriously, like 2014. And that's right. It's like Jason just said in chat. It's like you're saying you just want to gatekeep anyone who uses in-game mechanics and just call them casuals. Exactly right. The game has all these weapons. The game has all these builds. It doesn't matter. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Another game, I beat two games yesterday. I actually beat Riven Remake last night. Is because last night I'm doing Riven Remake, right? And the final puzzle of the game requires you to crack a codex. You have to figure out basically a numerical code that includes not only regular numbers that we know, but a symbol system and a second symbol system. <laughs> It's a really complex system. And I actually figured it out on the fly, live on stream. Listen, you know, you're very smart. You're high ranked in your school. You're on track to go to a nice college. Take a look at what I just did in Riven last night. Can you name one other content creator who just did that in two days? Did all that shit, a variety of challenging content in two fucking days back to back? If someone else who was notable did it, it would be like the talk of the town. Oh my God, this guy's like one of the best gamers. You believe that he fucking got, you know, this crazy streak of high-end gameplay in Street Fighter VI. Then he beat Radon, legit, in Elden Ring. Then he fucking did this crazy codex thing in Riven. And it's all on stream live, so it's all legit. It's not like he faked it, you know? That's the kind of shit you hear someone faked it, right? Oh, my God. But because it's Dark Side Phil, nobody cares. And again, it's not that nobody cares. That's a gross over-exaggeration. Because it's Dark Side Phil who did it, it doesn't mean anything, Right? It just, it's a throwaway, it's throwaway. It's disposable. It, it means nothing at all, right? Yes! <laughs> and that's sad, because again, 12 years ago, everyone would have been talking about it on YouTube. They would have been like, wow, this guy is crazy. Look at all this crazy stuff he's doing, right? <laughs> yes, hundreds of streamers have beaten Radon Krimit Coco, and how many of them did it legit? How many of them did it legit without summoning or, or you know, broken build stuff? I'm not saying it's not a lot, probably still hundreds, but... I'm one of them. Wow. Right? I'm literally one of them that did it legit. That's an accomplishment in itself. And then how many of them were playing at master level and doing well in Street Fighter Six? And how many of them did a crazy... That's what I'm saying. Like It's just like back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back cool high-level stuff I've been doing in games recently, but no one will ever talk about it. Oh, it's not a big deal. All right. Well, f fair enough. Right? Fair enough. <laughs> yes, you're saying Kai Senate did it. That's right. Yeah, Kai said it. People said he did it in 99 hours. I did it in five and a half. <laughs> and by the way, I had I had like 400 people on stream, half of which were all talking shit constantly. People screaming, just change, change your build, change your build, change your build. What the fuck? Shut up. No, I'm going to beat him like this. I'm learning. I'm getting better. Why are you screaming at me to change my build? All right, I've had enough. I'm just going to ban everyone who's been demanding that I change my build because it's none of your fucking business. So you're just going to be gone from the chat and I don't have to see you spam anymore like children. Okay? Good. Excellent. I got one already. It's not like, you know, Kai's on a stream. He probably has 40,000 people all cheering for him, right? Everyone's excited. Everyone's all pumped for it and shit. And for me, it's kind of like I always feel like I'm fighting a battle, but it's just for myself. You guys realize that by the time you say stuff in the chat, like, oh, you've got this now, Phil, I'm already dead, right? You guys are delayed by a good 15 to 20 seconds, so when you say shit like that, the fight's already over. And this guy's a pathological liar, because let's be honest, if I didn't beat Radon, who would have cared? No one, you know? But it's fine. It, I understand. I'm not who I used to be, that's for sure. It's just kind of like, you gotta accept it. You gotta, it's resignation. It's like, yeah, it is what it is. If this happened 12 years ago, things would have been very different, but it's just, you know... 12 years ago, I was an idiot, right? I was a complete moron. And I acted like a fool. And I didn't take a look at industry changes coming. And I didn't want to listen to feedback to improve. And I didn't want to listen to what my fans were telling me. I did Basically, I did a bunch of stuff that was wrong if I wanted to grow or at least stay where I was, right? And then <coughs> I just had a big string of bad luck when it came to uh, becoming kind of a negative meme on the internet. The fact that I might lose my fucking house over something that I have nothing whatsoever control over or to do with. <sighs> That's the worst feeling. Uh, the sponsorship is now gone. And it, it, it's all history now. You know what I mean? It's all history. I'm kind of like, I've accepted all of it. You know, at 42, I'm happy where we are. 
Um, I like the fact that we have a good time together no matter what I play. But it does, I mean, like, like to give you some perspective here, I think it's because, number one, I've been doing this for 16 years. And number two, because let's be honest, I just don't get that level of, of positivity behind me anymore. I don't, you know, yes, there are people rooting for me and I'm happy that I have the small positive fan base that I have, but it does kind of suck. It, if I had quit on Radon and said, I'm not doing it, that would have been news. But because I beat him legit in five and a half hours, that will never be news. So I think you, you understand where I'm coming from now, right? If I rage quit Street Fighter 6 and have a bad day, that's news. If I play the best stream I've ever done in Street Fighter 6, getting crazy wins, getting to over 1,600 ranking points, that's not news. Nobody cares. It's uh, it's not my fault. I did not. I literally did nothing wrong. You see, everyone just wants the toxic and the negative. No one cares about the positive. That is disheartening. I wish we could have more people who cared about the positive. I like that that crowd. I want more of that crowd. And sadly, it's rare that we really get that these days because we people who root against me rather than for me. And that is that's frustrating, you know. But I guess that's life, right? You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. So. I used to be the hero everyone rooted for, and now I'm still around, I'm still resilient, I'm still making content, I'm literally doing more difficult accomplishments than I've ever done before, but now everyone just sees me as the guy to root against, right? So it's, it just changes. It is what it is, I guess. People want me to be the heel. They want me to be the villain. I don't necessarily want to be the villain, but it seems like that's the role that life has given me. And so, you know, what do you do? I guess you roll with it. But uh, the thing is, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm definitely not going to be playing up that. I'm not going to be Mr. Drama. I'm not going to be some guy who becomes a heinous person on the internet saying awful things. And, you know, I'm not going to do that. I could. People told me to do that ages ago. And I was like, nah, I am who I am. I'm not going to become one of these people who's just a toxic jerk. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to stick to where I am. And again, I'm happy where I am, you know. It's just crazy to me because this is really have been a couple intense days. Super intense day of Street Fighter, intense day of Elden Ring, and then I, at, at the same time, one of the craziest puzzles I've ever solved in a video game. Probably the hardest. Like, that codex was seriously tough to figure out. And then it's like, that. Ah, no, one, no one cares. No one's even saying a word about it. No one gives a shit. What are people talking about? That a pro wrestler, Monsoor, tagged me on Twitter. Woo! Wow! What an amazing accomplishment, right? Like, what? A, <laughs> well, that's real news, huh? Is it really? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, I know. And I'm, I'm not sh talking Monsoor. He's a great guy. He was actually very nice. He actually quoted a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, he quoted the Crouch Jump from Black Mesa Playthrough. He quoted the song Do You Call My Name by Ra from Ra, who was the, the song I used to use in my Hateful Truth reviews. So he's actually a, fan, a legit fan, which is nice to know that I actually have legit fans out there who probably are this... The silent majority, people who are my fans don't speak up because they don't want to be harassed by the insane people who stalk me and everyone else around me who's positive. So I get that. I really do. Um, 